everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share a close-up look at the new Stamp Timber release from Simon Says Stamp because there's a lot of really great products in this release and I think it'd be helpful for you to be able to see all of the products up close and get an idea of what is included in this month's release. So to get started, I want to first share the Daniel Smith watercolor palettes, which are a collection of colors that you can pick out at Simon Says Stamp and you can test them out using these dot charts. These dot charts feature colors that both Sherry Carroll and Debbie Hughes love using. And I really enjoyed playing around with these because I do have some Daniel Smith watercolors, but these allowed me to test out some colors that I didn't have and also be able to use them for painting some projects for the September release. Now, well, how to use these dot charts are very simple. You can go ahead and activate some of the color that's on the dot chart and go ahead and test it out or you can pick it up and paint directly onto a paper to test it out, or you can go ahead and use it on a project. So there are a few different ways you can use it. And I accidentally placed a wet rag on top of the Debbie Hughes palette, so it did kind of smear a little bit, but I'm still gonna be able to pick up off of these palettes and be able to test out some of these other watercolors that I haven't gotten to try out. But I would really encourage you to check out these watercolor palettes uh, in both the Sherry Carroll and the Debbie Hughes palettes. I really enjoyed working with the Sherry Carroll palette and I did create a card using that particular palette as you can see here. This also featured another Stamp Timber product which was the Fractal Leaves stamp set which I'll get to in a minute. All right, so moving on in the release, we next have the six by six cling stamps and there's quite a few of them in this release. The first one we're going to look at here is the Christmas Sweater stamp set, and I just love this adorable pattern. This would be great for a variety of winter cards. I would love to be able to stamp this in some white embossing powder on top of like a red cardstock. That would look so beautiful. Another fun stamp set is the Good Reading set, and this one I love. I think this would be great for doing tone-on-tone -tone backgrounds to add some texture. Maybe you want to add texture to a card base or you want to add it to a background that you've done some maybe ink blending or watercoloring on. You could really make some fun both clean and simple and distressed effects with that. Next up we have ornate background and the ornate background is definitely living up to its name. I love the intricacy of these patterns. If you tried to color these, you will have a really fun time coloring in all of these different images and this reminds me a lot of those uh, adult coloring books that are so popular. Next up is Kaleidoscope Leaves, and I really love this. This is a beautiful pattern, and again, this would be a great tone on tone for maybe a card base. I really like the intricacy of these leaves, and it also goes really well with the fractal leaves that I'll show you in a minute. Next up we have Grid Play, and Grid Play, as it, the name suggests, is definitely a grid. And this works perfectly with the Grid Play collection of products, which happen to be designed by Laura Bassin, if you did not know that. Laura Bassin created a bunch of these Grid Play patterns, and I think these are really fun. You can use these either together or on their own. These Grid Play shapes are so much fun. You can use these to maybe fill in the grid, or you can use them to make really cool geometric backgrounds. There's also the Grid Play Alphas, which is a great block sans serif font, and this would be perfect for stamping bold greetings. I also really like the Grid Play stencils. You could use all the different images in this stencil to be able to create some really fun shapes. An idea I have is to use some of these shapes to do some ink blending and create some really fun shapes on a card. Moving on to the 4x6 stamp sets, this first one here is Ornate Leaves. And again, this features that same ornate background that we saw in the 6x6 cling. This time it's, however, inside of a shape. So it fills in the silhouette of these beautiful leaves and pumpkin. I really like this. And the, there's a couple of fun sentiments in here as well. Live Love is a great geometric set. Again, this has some bold sentiments on it and it also has a bunch of geometric images. Those triangles will be so cool to stamp a whole entire background with. You can make some really interesting cards with these and I really like the graphic feel of them. There's also a really adorable Forever Friends stamp set. This is a four by six stamp set and I love these critters. They are so adorable. Those bunnies cuddling, there's a little bear there hugging a heart, there's a puppy and some other really cute supporting elements as well. And then you of course have these really great sentiments in a fun font and they feature some really nice things such as you are my best friend always. I really, really like this set. 
Next up, we have the You Got This stamp set, and I'm excited to announce that I actually designed this set. And it features a lot of really great encouraging sentiments in here, such as hope is stronger than fear, be true to yourself, everything will be okay, face today with total confidence. There's a lot of really great encouraging sentiments in here that you can use for a variety of different occasions. Also in the encouraging theme, we've got the Together stamp set. And this 4x6 set has a bunch of really great sentiments in it, along with this beautiful Together sentiment within a great script font. There's a variety of fonts in this set, so you can find anything to match the type of card that you're creating. Fractal Leaves is the stamp set I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and you can see how cool these leaves are, and they feature a really great geometric style. I really loved coloring these in in a no-line coloring style using the Daniel Smith dot chart, and I will be sharing more details on that card in the September Day 1 blog hop, which starts at 12 p.m. on September 1st. Now here we have the Artsy Shapes stamp set, and these feature some really cool hand-drawn shapes with some text in the background. So you could use these to do some fun distressing. You could also use them in, say, planners and other art journal projects. I think these would be really fun to incorporate in a variety of different projects. Now this is a really cute set. This is called On a String, and it features a bunch of really cute whimsical strings that you can then hang these different elements from. So you've got little presents, you've got ornaments, snowflakes, stars, little balls, and then you even have some really nice sentiments there that feature really cute bouncy script font. You could stamp all these images in some really fun colors for Christmas. I think these would make really cute cards. Next up we have Carol Singers, and I love these critters. Look at that cat, he's so cute. There's a little bird on his head, and then there's a bunny playing the piano, and the bear with his little guitar. These are just adorable images. And I love the sentiments on here too. They have a really cool hand-drawn feel. Really, really fun set. Another fun set is the Amazing Messages set, and I think these would be great for kids to color, and also make really cute kids' cards. I do have an example of the fantastic sentiment gone ahead and colored in, in with some colored pencils. I stamped it onto white cardstock using some black pigment ink and then I put clear embossing powder on top. Then I went ahead and took some colored pencils and colored in the images. And you can see these would be really fun to color and like I said, would make great cards for kids. Next up we have the Under the Sea stamp set. This is such an intricate stamp set. Look at the detail on these images. I love how hand-drawn they look, and they also have a really fun, whimsical feel to them. So I went ahead and actually made a card using this stamp set, and I will be sharing this on September 2nd. So make sure you check back to my blog. Here's a sneak peek of it, and I hope you'll be able to stop back and see how I created this card. Next up, we have If the Hat Fits. This is a great Halloween set with some really neat witches' hats in it, and I really think these would be fun if you are into Halloween cards, you, you would enjoy working with this stamp set. There's also a set of coordinating dies to go with it. Next up, we have the Storybook Animal Dies, and there's a variety of different animal dies in this particular release. We've released a few of these in the past. This time we have Labrador, Chihuahua, Bunny, Panda, Monkey, the French Bulldog, and also Sweet Cat. These are so much fun to die cut and then paper piece back together. So here's the cat. And I've die cut it from some black cardstock just so you can see really well on the white here. You get all these little pieces die cut out and you can die cut them from a bunch of different colors of cardstock or you can die cut them from white and then color them in with any type of medium you like. Same kind of idea with kitty cat, however this one is more of a silhouette. But again you can cut this out with some colored cardstock or you could color it in using some fun mediums. Next up, we have the Pretty Up gift card die. This die was actually something else I was able to create for the September release and features a gift card holder and some fun elements to help you make a bow that you can then put onto a gift card. Now you can use the gift card holder without the bow and you can see it has these nice notches in it to be able to hold your gift card in place and you could attach that inside a card or you could create the bow and have a really cute little band around your gift card holder to help decorate it. And this can be oriented both vertically or horizontally. I do have a video on my blog and YouTube channel showcasing how to use the gift card holder die. So if you're interested in learning more about that die, I would encourage you to check that out. I'll have that linked at the end of this video.
Another die is the Together die, and this features a nice, bold, simple font that's perfect for a variety of different cards, and it cuts out that word together. Now, it also coordinates perfectly with the Together stamp set, so these would be great products to work with together. The Holiday Tree Medallion is so pretty. It's very intricate. It reminds me very much of a snowflake. I think it's really, really pretty how it has all these different patterns in it, and I really love how delicate the stencil is. Another fun stencil is the Deborah stencil, and we have a variety of different stencils in this kind of style, and this one really complements all of the other ones that we have, and it also features a leaf pattern, so it's perfect for fall as well. So you can see that one's also very intricate. This stained glass stencil is really, really fun to work with. I've used this on a couple different cards already, and I love coloring it in. I actually created two cards using this stencil, and you can see sneak peeks of them here. You'll be able to see more on these cards during the September blog hop. And again, that starts at noon on September 1st. Okay, so now I also want to share the straight edge self-sealing A2 envelopes. These come in five different sets and they, again, are self-sealing. So you can just go ahead and peel off the backing and adhere them together. They come in sets and so each set contains a variety of coordinating colors of envelopes. I'll have all of these envelope sets linked down in the video description, and you can also go over to my blog to find the links to all of the Stamp Timber products, and the links on my blogs are actually picture links, so it's much easier to find the products I'm talking about. But you can see all of these envelopes are in such beautiful colors. We've got island blue, this beautiful orange-red color. It reminds me very much of burnt orange. A lot of these colors coordinate perfectly with the Simon Says Stamp cardstocks. That purple is really beautiful too. It's like a dark hydrangea color. And then we even have some neutral colors as well. Another really fun product is the glitter paper. And this comes in champagne, silver, and white. And these papers are so shimmery and have a really cool iridescent tone to the glitter. Like I said, they come in three different colors. These are very heavyweight cardstocks and the texture of them is super, super soft. They are so beautiful. My favorite is the gold glitter, but the white I think is something I'm gonna be using a lot of. These are single-sided, so just keep that in mind. And these come in packs of 10. So you do get a lot of cardstock from these packs. Finally, the last product I wanted to share today is the Cora embossing plate. This embossing plate is really, really cool. I actually have a video on my YouTube channel that features how I use embossing plates. And I'll link to that both here and also in the video description so you can find that video and watch it. So there are a few other products that I didn't get to touch on in this video, including some really cute sequin mixes. And there's also a coordinating die set for the previously released Summer Flowers stamp set. So again, I'll have all of the Stamp Timber release products linked in the video description and also on my blog, so I encourage you to check that out. And make sure you stop back at my blog or the Simon Says Stamp blog to participate in the Stamp Timber release blog hop, which starts at noon on September 1st. There's also going to be a second blog hop on September 2nd that features additional Stamp Timber inspiration. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you again very soon and have a great day. Bye.